Hello students, in the previous lecture, we have studied about all the different characteristics of operating systems and the function of the operating system. We have seen different characteristics and different functions of the operating system in the previous lecture. In this lecture, we are going to study how the working with the Windows operating system. How is the working of Windows operating system done? Uh, the home page of the Windows operating system and uh, also we will see the different menus, what are icons, what are gadgets and all this in this uh, lecture. So let's start with working with Windows operating system. Here you all can see uh, there is a diagram whenever you will start your PC you can see this desktop okay on your windows uh, on your computer or your laptop when you start it you all can see this screen on your computer this screen is called as the desktop okay uh, it consists of different icons on the desktop, uh, different types of gadgets are there. Uh, you all can see in the bottom panel there are uh, different uh, icons which we use frequently. Okay, uh, this is the home screen of Windows 8 operating system and uh, you all can see here are the different types of uh, icons which are used. Uh, here you can see the folders are created by the user. Uh, these are the uh, some of the gadgets uh, used on our operating system. You all can see uh, these uh, gadgets are used when uh, we have the access to the internet. Uh, they access the internet and provides uh, the privacy uh, on the uh, online content uh, statements. Uh, that there, there are calendars, there clock is there, meters there, currencies there. These are some of the. Uh, gadgets used you all can see over here I have used the uh, two gadgets that is uh, one is for the clock timing and is the calendar okay uh, so this is uh, all about the screen you all can see uh, which application is open that applications are viewed over down uh, here you all can see uh, the charging status of your laptop or computer uh, whether you have connected to the internet or not it is shown over here here this is the volume of your system what is the volume of your system and what is the language you, which you have used for your uh, system or, or for your laptop that is shown over here and here is the date and time okay your date is given in the form of mmddyy so this is in short uh, the windows uh, or desktop or the home screen of window now moving forward, we will see what are the different features of Windows operating system. We will see over here the different features of Windows operating system. The first feature of the Windows operating system is the start button. Now start button, what is the use of the start button? Uh, the start button is uh, located where it is found. The start button is found on the tax bar at left down corner of the screen. At the left down corner of your screen, you all can see the start button. So here you all can see here is the start button. If you click on this, you all can see the uh, all the different types of uh, icons or applications which are present in your um, computer. Okay. So this is the first uh, feature that is the start button. Uh, where it is located, you all have got it. It is located at the left down corner of your screen. The second feature is the program button. Now what is that program button? What is the feature of the program button? That program button is used uh, when uh, you open, uh, each program opens, appear at the bottom, even when multiple items for a program is open. You can pin program add to the taskbar. Now what is the use of program button? What is the main motto of the program button? Uh, the program button help the user uh, to uh, allocate that program or pin that program to your taskbar. At a time number of multiple programs can be open on your taskbar. You all can see here uh, multiple processes are going down on your comp system. So here uh, we have pinned to the taskbar the different application or the different programs which we are currently using. Here your notepad is open, your gadgets or page is open, one more year or something is open. So there are different uh, 
program with the help of program buttons you can tag the different types of programs which are currently executing on your pc at the tags bar okay so this is the second feature uh, the third feature is the tags bar now what is the use of tags bar tags bar is nothing but it is the horizontal line at the bottom uh, of your screen okay uh, for what we say the tags bar see this is this is called the tags bar you all can see this line this line is called as tags bar in this number of different applications or the program execution can be kept currently executing programs are minimized and kept over this tags bar this tags bar is always at the bottom of your screen okay uh, it may your computer or laptop at the bottom of your laptop or computer screen uh, this tags bar is present the next is show desktop button now show desktop button is what uh, this type of uh, feature in your windows operating system uh, help you to minimize all the open windows to display your desktop and it is located at the right down corner of your screen uh, now what is the use of this show desktop button show desktop button is used uh, which is present in the right corner of your screen here it is uh, actually it is not seen over here if you place over here uh, whatever the current program you are executing on your desktop that all will get minimized and directly the desktop screen will be shown to the user every time it is present over here actually it is not seen uh, now uh, the image i have taken it took scrop so you all cannot see but here that is pre, uh, that uh, uh, button is present if you click over here then all the uh, currently executing programs will get minimized to your tags bar and directly your home screen will be shown or your desktop will be shown okay the next is the explorer window the next feature is the explorer window now what is the use of explorer in window the explorer window is nothing but it helps you to manage the files uh, and folders the different types of files and folders are managed by using this explorer window uh, this explorer window uses the backward and forward button to move or to navigate around to move back uh, matlab uh, if you want to manage your files you have to move back and front for the particular file that file navigation is done by your explorer uh, window next is uh, navigation is of four ways up down left right okay uh, next is the gadgets gadgets uh, as i have already shown you all uh, on the uh, screen uh, but i will show you all once again see this whatever i have shown this picture is the gadgets of your computer system so what is gadget gadget is uh, nothing uh, but they offer you the information different types of information such as time weather uh, calendar whatever you have to see uh, they provide us and that can be placed anywhere on the computer system you can place it on your desktop or laptop anywhere where you want to place that okay so this is all about the gadget the next is the notification area so notification area is uh, nothing but it is a place you know on your desktop where you have uh, stored your time uh, date and uh, the, uh, any program which is related to that icon uh, so this is your notification area this is called as notification area it shows you the date time and uh, currently which program is executing and what is the status of that program that is shown over your notification area the next is the shortcut now shortcut is nothing but it uh, uh, without going in the start menu and opening that particular function or that application with the help of shortcut uh, it will create a icon on your desktop and by clicking a uh, icon on the desktop you will directly open that application or that software without uh, going and uh, searching it in the start menu so here you all can see uh, this is this are the shortcuts you all can see this add up reader is there uh, u torrent is there vm uh, workstation is there uh, this symbols are nothing but they are the shortcuts which are created so instead of going and clicking in this chart and searching for my specific application i can directly double click on this application and open that application so this is about the shortcut 
So these are some of the features of the Windows operating system. Have you all got it? What are the features of Windows operating system? Next is the structure of Windows. You mm -hmm. all must be most familiar with this Microsoft Word document. This is the structure of Microsoft Word document. Are you all familiar with this structure? In this structure, you all have to know uh, the. This is the uh, just the screen of your Microsoft Word. Uh, which are the different menus? What is the use of each menu? That is explained in this structure of. Uh, windows so we'll see uh, in short what is all this about the structure of windows okay uh, first we'll see uh, this is nothing but it is a structure of microsoft word okay in this uh, at the top uh, right corner you all can see there are three buttons the first is cross which is used to close uh, it is used when you want to close the existing file or existing document you can close your excuse me the second is the minimize maximize button uh, which is used to minimize your document or to maximize your document then you all can see over here document one dash microsoft microsoft word this is the title bar Okay, uh, Microsoft Word is the name of the document which you have opened and document 1 is the name of your document. You all can change the name of your document by assigning a name to your file. You, whatever name is assigned to your file, that name is uh, given over here. Document 1 is the default name. User can change the name of the document file. After that, you all can see over here, uh, this is the quick access toolbar. Whether you want to redo the data or undo the data, that can be done by using this access toolbar. Okay. After that, you all can see over here, uh, there are different menus. Uh, menu uh, that is file is there, home, insert, page layout, references, mailing, review, view, add-ons. Uh, these are nothing but the different types of menus which are available in your Microsoft Word. Uh, uh, when you click on a particular menu, the sub menus will be displayed on your uh, screen here in the bottom. Okay. Uh, now, uh, if I click on the file menu, file menu uh, provides us the different operation. If you want to open a file, create a new file, save the existing file, uh, rename the existing file, then this all is done in the uh, under the file menu okay uh, after that you all can see over here uh, this is nothing but this is called as ribbon and here you all can see calpric body this is the font family here are the different font families which are present in your microsoft word that all families are listed over here by clicking on this uh, arrow this is a drop down list when you click on this arrow, you will get all the different types of fan form, fan, font families which are available. Uh, related to the font family, you all can choose the font size. Okay. Uh, you all can choose the font size over here. Uh, this B, I, U is nothing. But uh, if you want to make uh, any data bold, or italic or you want to underline, then this keyword 3 uh, keywords are used. If you want to bold your document, at that time you can use B. If you want to uh, make an italic uh, notation to your document, you can use I. And if you want to underline the document, you can use U. So these are the three different um, uh, uh, formatting uh, which are used for your document. After that you can see uh, this empty space is nothing but this is the uh, main document area where you all can write your document. Okay. Uh, after that you all can see this left corner there is a question mark. This question mark indicates that uh, if you want any help uh, for your document, you are not understanding anything, then at that time you all can take it from there. Uh, the status bar shows you uh, in your uh, document how many words you are written, how many number of lines are completed in your document. That is shown on your status bar. Uh, then your zoom control is used uh, to uh, zoom control is used. If you have data write you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, you have to zoom in.
so this is in short uh, the structure of the uh, microsoft word have you all got it the structure of microsoft word uh, so here there are some sentences or some uh, sentences on the structure of window the first is it is a dialog box which contains a document or message हाँ माइक्रो विंडोज का मैं क्या है उसका स्ट्रक्चर कैसे रहता है कि उसमें हम कौन सा भी डॉक्यूमेंट राइट कर सकते हैं या फिर एक मैसेज टाइप कर सकते हैं और वो कैसे दिखता है एक डायलॉग बॉक्स के जैसे दिखता है यूजर को उसके बाद मेन्यू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम यूज द विंडोज फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग इंफॉर्मेशन एंड एक्सेप्ट द इनपुट इनपुट एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए ऑपरेटिंग uh, सिस्टम को प्रोग्राम्स एक्सचेंज करने पड़ते हैं तो जो भी डिफरेंट टाइप्स के प्रोग्राम्स एक्सचेंज किए जाते हैं फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग द इंफॉर्मेशन या फिर यूजर का इनपुट डिस्प्ले करने के लिए इंफॉर्मेशन डिस्प्ले करने के लिए जो प्रोग्राम्स रहते हैं वो क्या किया जाता है ये ये स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फॉलो करते हैं मैनी बहुत सारे विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऐसे है कि वो साइमटेनियसली ओपन भी कर सकते हैं और उसका डेटा हम क्या कर सकते हैं डिस्प्ले भी कर सकते हैं ओपनिंग एंड डिस्प्लेइंग ऑफ द डेटा कैन बी डन इन विंडोज साइमटेनियसली ये कुछ उसके सिंटेक्स थे जो हमें याद रखना है नेक्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज द विंडोज एक्सप्लोरर एग्जैक्टली विंडोज एक्सप्लोर क्या है बार बार हमने अभी तक विंडोज एक्सप्लोर सुना है पर एग्जैक्टली exactly वो क्या रहता है तो विंडोज एक्सप्लोर ये नेविगेशन पर्पज के लिए यूज किया जाता है इसमें नेविगेशन मतलब क्या विद द हेल्प ऑफ नेविगेशन यू ऑल कैन मैनेज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ योर फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस विंडोज एक्सप्लोर तो विंडोज एक्सप्लोर नेविगेशन के साथ सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क जो विंडोज एक्सप्लोर करता है वो क्या करता है कि इट हेल्प्स यू क्यू मैनेज योर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर्स ओके उसके लिए वो क्या किया जाता है कि जब हम ओपन करते हैं तो लाइब्रेरीज हमारी क्या कर की जाती है कोलेप्स की जाती है फोल्डर्स के साथ और उसको एक्सपांड किया जाता है लाइब्रेरीज को एक्सपांड किया जाता है और जो भी फोल्डर्स है वो कोलेप्स किए जाते हैं तो विंडोज एक्सप्लोर का ये वर्कआउट है तो नाउ हाउ टू ओपन दैट विंडोज एक्सप्लोर विंडोज एक्सप्लोर हम कैसे ओपन कर सकते हैं तो विंडोज एक्सप्लोर अगर हो ओपन करना होगा तो हमें कैसा ओपन करना पड़ता है चूज स्टार्ट स्टार्ट में जाके हमें क्या सिलेक्ट करना पड़ता है डॉक्यूमेंट गो इन द स्टार्ट क्लिक ऑन द स्टार्ट बटन एंड देन क्लिक ऑन द डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओके वेन यू विल क्लिक ऑन द डॉक्यूमेंट विंडोज एक्सप्लोर विल ओपन द डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी जब आप डॉक्यूमेंट पे क्लिक करोगे तो विंडोज क्या करेंगे डॉक्यूमेंट की लाइब्रेरी ओपन करके देगा विंडोज एक्सप्लोर ओपन करके देगा या फिर सेकेंड वे टू ओपन योर विंडोज एक्सप्लोर विंडोज एक्सप्लोर ओपन करने का सेकेंड मेथड जो है वो क्या है कि आप क्या कर सकते हो टैक्स बार पे ये सिंबल रहता है हाँ मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स आपके टैक्स बार पे ऐसा सिंबल्स रहता है इस पे आप क्लिक करोगे तो आपको क्या होता है डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज शो करने वाला पेज क्या होता है ओपन होता है उसमें आप डॉक्यूमेंट्स पे क्लिक करो तो डॉक्यूमेंट की लाइब्रेरी ओपन होगी पिक्चर्स है म्यूजिक है डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ योर लोकल डिस्क एस सी लोकल ड्राइव डी ई ये सब उस पर क्या होता है हमें इजिली व्यू होता है सो दिस इज हाउ टू ओपन अ विंडोज एक्सप्लोर तो इन विंडोज एक्सप्लोर कैसे ओपन करना है ये हमें यहाँ पे बताया गया है नेक्स्ट द डिफॉल्ट लोकेशन जो भी डिफॉल्ट लोकेशन है टू स्टोर एनी ऑफ योर फाइल और टू स्टोर एनी ऑफ योर फोल्डर इज बाय डिफॉल्ट योर डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी अगर हमने पार्ट मेंशन नहीं किया है वाइल सेविंग अ फाइल और वाइल डाउनलोडिंग अ फाइल देन बाय डिफॉल्ट उसका स्टोरिंग लोकेशन या स्टोरिंग फोल्डर कौन सा रहता है तुम्हारे डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी में तुम कौन सा भी डेटा डेटा डाउनलोड करो या कौन सी भी फाइल सेव करो बाय डिफॉल्ट वो किस में जाती है तुम्हारे डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी में तो डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी इसको क्या कहा जाता है कि ये विंडोज एक्सप्लोरर का एक मेन टूल है जिससे हम विंडोज के साथ इजीली क्या कर सकते हैं इंटरेक्ट कर सकते हैं विंडोज के साथ इजीली इंटरेक्ट करने के लिए ये मेन टूल है जस्ट uh, इसको एक्सेस कैसे करना रहता है सिर्फ स्टार्ट बटन पे क्लिक करो देन uh, स्टार्ट बटन पे क्लिक करने के बाद इधर तुम कंप्यूटर्स पे क्लिक करो या फिर कौन से भी एक फोल्डर के ऊपर क्लिक करो फिर वहां पे नंबर ऑफ फोल्डर्स अवेलेबल है जैसे कि मैंने कहा था म्यूजिक uh, है पिक्चर्स है वीडियोस है डॉक्यूमेंट्स है डाउनलोड्स है जो फोल्डर आपको चाहिए वो फोल्डर्स पे आप क्या कर सकते हो इजिली क्लिक कर सकते हो सो दिस इज वॉट अबाउट द विंडोज एक्सप्लोर 
so uh, there are some tools uh, which make uh, this windows explorer uh, to use it more easily uh, so the first uh, tool uh, which is easy to use in windows explorer is the navigation pane <coughs> So navigation pane is uh, one of the most uh, important tool uh, which is used in um, Windows Explorer. Uh, with the help of navigation pane on the left side of window, you can click an item to see the files within. Okay, now this navigation pane is where we get it. So what do we click on the left side of the window? Sorry. Yeah. लेफ्ट साइड के लेफ्ट साइड के विंडोज के ऊपर अगर हमने क्लिक किया तो हमें क्या होता है कि आइटम्स की उसमें फाइल्स वी कैन सी द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स विद इन दैट फाइल पर्टिकुलर फाइल के इसमें कितने सारे डिफरेंट आइटम्स है दैट वी कैन सी फिर ये नेविगेशन पेन्स में कौन से टाइप्स के आइटम्स इंक्लूड किए जाते हैं आइटम्स व्हिच आर फ्रॉम योर डाउनलोडेड और व्हिच आर एडेड इन योर फेवरेट लिस्ट और विच में भी प्रेजेंट इन योर विंडोज लाइब्रेरी ओके मतलब नेविगेशन पेन विंडोज में कौन से टाइप के फोल्डर्स इंक्लूड किए जाते हैं तुम्हारा डॉक्यूमेंट फोल्डर होगा या फिर तुम्हारा डाउनलोड्स फोल्डर रहेगा म्यूजिक फोल्डर रहेगा या फेवरेट लिस्ट रिसेंटली विजिटेड प्लेसेस का रहेगा यह सब आपको उस नेविगेशन प्लेन में दिखाई जाता है मोस्टली कंप्यूटर के होम ग्रुप पे जो भी ड्राइवर्स यूज किए जाते हैं या फिर कंप्यूटर्स के नेटवर्क पे जो ड्राइवर्स यूज किए जाते हैं वो हम इजीली इसमें क्या कर सकते हैं नेविगेशन पेन में विजिबली इजीली देख सकते हैं नेक्स्ट सेकंड इज द यूज ऑफ यूजिंग द नेविगेशन बार टू मूव अराउंड ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ नेविगेशन बार व्हाट हाउ डज द नेविगेशन बार मूव अराउंड सो व्हेन वी क्लिक ऑन द एजेस ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द विंडो विंडो के टॉप पे जो एजेस रहते हैं अगर उस पे हमने आ, क्लिक किया तो हम पर्टिकुलर अवेलेबल फोल्डर क्या कर सकते हैं सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं विंडोज लैक वन अप लेवल फोल्डर बटन फाउंड इन विंडोज एक्सपी ओके विंडोज एक्सपी में हमने वन एक बटन ऐसा था वन लेवल अप वन लेवल फोल्डर था अब वन लेवल फोल्डर से क्या होता था वहां पे हम अराउंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर नेविगेशन बार हम क्या कर सकते थे मूव कर सकते थे जनरली ये हम कैसे कर सकते हैं बाय यूजिंग अगर मुझे आप मूव होना है तो अल्ट प्लस जो फोर एरो कीज रहते हैं हमारे कीबोर्ड पे फोर एरो कीज में से हम अगर आपकी प्रेस करते तो यूजुअली क्या होता है कि हम वन लेवल अप जा, जाते विंडोज में होल्डिंग कब होता है जब हम होल्ड करते हैं अल्ट प्लस अप एरो की अगर डाउन होना होगा तो डाउन एरो की सो दिस आर द फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट नेविगेशन बार वी कैन मूव अराउंड द नेक्स्ट इज द डिटेल बॉक्स नाउ व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस डिटेल बॉक्स This detail box is used when you click a file or folder uh, once and uh, the details will appear for it on your uh, detail box window which is appearing at the bottom of your explorer window. Okay, so detail box may just care it na yaad rakhna hai ki particular file ya folder pe hum jab click karte hai to uske related jo bhi details rahe ki wo appear hoti hai tumare bottom ke upar. तो जो भी डिटेल्स बॉटम के विंडोज के बॉटम में हमें अपीयर होती है एक्सप्लोरर के तो उसमें क्या वो उसे क्या कहा जाता है डिटेल बॉक्स द नेक्स्ट इज द कमांड बार व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ कमांड बार मोस्ट ऑफ द एक्शन मोस्ट ऑफ द एक्शन यू माइट वांट टू परफॉर्म आर लिस्टेड इन कमांड कमांड बार मेनी अदर एक्शन आर एक्सेबल बाय द राइट क्लिकिंग द फाइल और फोल्डर कमांड uh, बार में क्या किया जाता है मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स के एक्शन uh, जो हमें परफॉर्म करनी है वो उसमें क्या की जाती है लिस्टेड की जाती है उसमें लिस्ट करने के बाद वो एक्शन हम क्या कर सकते हैं एक्सेसिबल uh, कर सकते हैं फॉर अदर पर्पज बाई जस्ट राइट क्लिकिंग ऑन दैट फाइल और फोल्डर सो कमांड बार में ये किया जाता है कि एक्शन जो हमें परफॉर्म करनी है वो उसमें लिस्ट की जाती है फिर वो एक्शन एक्सेसिबल करना रहेगा यूजर के लिए तो उस पर हम क्या करते हैं राइट क्लिक करते हैं दैट पर्टिकुलर फाइल 
the next is the hidden menu bar what is the use of hidden menu bar uh, hidden menu bar jab hum alt click karte hain तो विंडोज एक्सप्लोर क्या करते हैं हमें ओल्ड वर्जन के जो भी मेनू बार थे वो मेनू बार ऑफ विंडोज ओल्ड वर्जन वो हमें दिखाई जाते हैं जैसे फाइल है व्यू है एडिट है हाँ हेल्प है ये जो डिफरेंट मेनू बार थे ओल्ड वर्जन ऑफ विंडोज के वो हमें दिखाई जाते हैं विद नंबर ऑफ फंक्शन विच आर अवे फ्रॉम दैट टक्ट विच आर टक्ट अवे इन दैट पर्टिकुलर framework that is shown in your hidden menu bar so this are uh, some of the uh, tools which makes the windows explorer easy to use uh, so in the, today's lecture we have seen uh, the different uh, types of uh, uh, different uh, types of working with the windows operating system what are the features of the windows operating system we have seen what is windows explorer and we have seen uh, which are the tools of windows explorer which makes them easy to be used so this is all about the windows operating system so uh, till now what we have seen we will just see in short so uh, we have seen from the last lectures about what is software so remember what is software software is nothing but it is a, a computer system which is made up of your hardware and software uh, software is a set of programs or algorithms to perform a specific task uh, depending upon that we have seen the two types of software which was the system software and the application software uh next we have seen what is the definition of operating system so we have seen that operating system is nothing but it is a program that controls the execution of application program okay uh, it controls the execution of application program and it is an interface between the user and the hardware okay next we had seen what are the objectives of windows operating system and we have seen the characteristics of windows operating systems and types of windows op and types of operating system so there were five different types of operating system which we have studied uh, it was multi user multi processor multi tasking multi threading and real time okay so we have seen each of these types in detail after that we have seen the different functions of operating system we have seen about the process management uh, then is memory management file management device management protection and security and user interface this are the different functions of operating system uh, and recently we have seen about uh, how to work with the computer uh, how to work with the windows operating system we have studied what is desktop what are uh, what is this uh here there is a start button okay uh, this start button is on the left uh, of the bottom you all can see uh, when you click on this you can open a particular file or a folder which you want to open uh, these are some of the shortcuts available on your screen instead of going and clicking on your start button and opening the google you all can directly double click on this chrome then your google chrome will get open now uh, these are the some of the gadgets which are used in your computer system here you can see the notification area which consists of date and time uh, here are the uh, different uh, concurrently executing programs uh, when you click over here here is a button which will minimize all the executing programs and will show you your uh, this uh, desktop uh, these gadgets can be placed anywhere on your desktop this was what we have seen about the uh, this then there were the different features which we have seen of the windows operating system like what is the start button what is page button what is task bar what is windows explorer what are gadgets notification area then we have seen the structure of windows operating system what is windows explorer and which are the tools which are used to uh, <coughs> which are easy to use with the windows explorer so this was all about the windows explorer which we have studied in today's lecture now in the next lecture we will study about what are the files and which are the different operations which are performed on your file so for today we will stop over here thank you